I used to like to lie in bed at night and look out at the sky. But now, this is Yolanta Benal's view. There you go. A bedroom I had to turn into a tomb. Benal, who lives in Windsor Terrace, says the glare from new LED street lamps on our block is so intense, she hung blackout curtains. So that we could sleep at night. It's an annoyance many people around the tri-state area have expressed as more and more towns and municipalities switch from orange sodium lights to longer-lasting blue LEDs. But this glare may actually be the least of our concerns. There has not been consideration of the human health impacts, and that's what I very strongly object to. Professor Richard Stevens with the University of Connecticut has spent more than 30 years studying the health effects of artificial lights, including LEDs. There is no question too bright light, particularly blue, high, uh, short wavelength light in the evening, it has potent effects on our physiology. In particular, he says, study after study shows it severely suppresses the production of melatonin, a much needed hormone. Increasing the risk of diabetes, obesity, depression. And potentially certain cancers. A study from Harvard found a greater risk of breast cancer in women who live in neighborhoods that have higher level of outdoor lighting during the night. I think we don't know the individual environment. But oncologist Dr. Raymonda Goldman with Holy Name Medical Center says while the study raises some good questions, it does not make a definitive link as with other known risk factors. Like smoking, uh, too much alcohol consumption. All experts agree more research is needed, but in the meantime, Dr. Goldman suggests do as Benal does. Close the blinds if you're very, very concerned. Make sure you get enough sleep. The American Medical Association is now encouraging communities to minimize blue lighting by using the lowest emission of blue light possible. If you use LED light bulbs in your home, experts recommending dimming them in the evening. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News.